All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about how you can use Zapier with Clay. And so as you may have already seen, there are a ton of different tools that you can both import and send data to with Clay. This list we are working on every day and continues to grow. However, if there are tools that are not currently supported, you can use Zapier as kind of a glue to connect pretty much anything else. And so if you're familiar with Zapier, you probably know that there are thousands of apps supported, meaning there are thousands of different triggers. Um, and so you, say you have an email CRM uh, or you have a automated email sender that is not currently supported on Clay, such as MailerLite, you could use Zapier to connect MailerLite to Clay. Another example and the one I'm gonna to use today is, let's say I have a lead form on my website and whenever someone fills that out, I get an email. And the email, let's just say, looks like this, right? So I've got name about the lead as well as uh, the company. And this is all stuff that the person has filled in. And basically what I want to do is I want to bring the information from that email into Clay. I want to then enrich that lead and score the lead and if the lead is a good lead, I want to send them an email saying, hey, let's meet. If the lead is considered a bad lead, I want to send them an email saying, hey, I so sorry, I don't think right now is the best time. And so we're gonna use Zapier to basically send the information in and out. And if we look at Zapier, our starting point is going to be this new email. So the new email is going to be the trigger. Uh, if this trigger goes off, we're going to create a new record in our table in Clay. And Clay actually has a built-in integration with Zapier, which is super clean. All you've got to do is log into your account, and then you can choose your workspace, your table, your view, etc. And as you can see here, I've got columns for the date, email, and body. And what I'm going to do is just map that information, right? Right from the email into these Clay columns that were populated uh, from the table. And then... Uh, I basically got all this information in clay. And so this may not look super helpful at first, right? Because, you know, I've got this body of text with all this important information. You might be wondering, you know, how can I use this? Clay is also really good at helping to structure and format data. And so all I'm gonna use, do is use the AI formula generator. And what I'm trying to do is essentially create columns for all these different form inputs. So I wanna call them for the name, for the company, personal LinkedIn, et cetera. And so what I'm going to do, using the AI formula generator, say, pull out the information from, I'm going to select the body, and I'm going to say, I want the information that is between the name and the company, and that is going to be equal to the name column. And so I'm just going to type just that. Uh, so pull out the information from body that is between name and company, generate the formula, and you'll see, great, it was able to pull out the name. And so what I've done is, if you look in this other view, I've pulled out uh, the name, I've pulled out the company, the company LinkedIn, and the personal LinkedIn, uh, as well as the lead type. And then I've got this clay enrichment formula right here, which is going to enrich the company. And the kind of last step of all of this is, you know, in this example, let's say I wanted to work with people who are only in California and um, between 1,000 to 5,000 employees on LinkedIn. Let's just say that's my personal criteria. And in Clay, I'm able to pull out this information, right? Their locality and their company size from this integration right here. And first, I just created a new column called Good Lead. Uh, it's a pretty simple conditional formula, which I again used AI formula generator for. And it's basically saying, if this company is in California and between 1,000 and 5,000 employees, good lead is true. If not, good lead is false. And right here, I've been able to basically mark um, these companies as good leads. The final step is creating the response. And so here I'm saying, if it is a good lead, say, let's meet. If it is not, say, no thanks. And so basically in this table, I was able to, just to give a quick recap, I was able to import the information from Gmail. I was able to structure that information into columns, which I'm able to then use to enrich that lead. And then using all that information, I was able to create a essentially a, a lead score as well as the response that I want sent back. 
And so now in Zapier, I've got a delay for two minutes. And after all of these enrichments have run, and you know, I've identified this as a good lead as well as a response, I'm just going to find that record in clay and pull the new information that was found. And so you'll see um, in the body of the email, right? I can then look in that record and I can pull out that new table. Sorry, not new table. I can find the record in clay using the email itself. Uh, and then when I go to send the email, which is down here, I can pull out the information from the record that was found and I can pull out the specific values that I want. So in this case, right, I just want to pull out the response. And so in this email, I'm just pulling that, um, that column from this find record and table in clay. And I can click continue and have that set to go. And so now every time someone fills out my lead form, right, they're going to be enriched in clay and then an email is going to be sent. And so there are a ton of more use cases for this. Um, you know, for example, if after sending an email saying let's meet, I also wanted to use the information found in this enrichment to personalize a Google Slides deck, right? I could 100% do that using the information from Clay as well as the kind of glue integrations of Zapier. Um, and so, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with this. If you have any questions about uh, a build out you're trying to do uh, or specific use cases, feel free to drop that in the Slack community in Creative Prospecting. Thank you.